going to look at the same problems as solving percent problems with proportions, but this time we're going to do it by equations. I personally like this kind better. Okay, so we're starting out with looking at this as a verbal expression, okay, that it's using words. I want to change that into an algebraic equation. So going through here, I want to think about what each part means. Okay, so let's start with 75%. So with 75% that remember when we're dealing with other numbers and problems, we want to look at that as our decimal. So I'm going to change that into the 0.75. Okay, so of is my keyword to multiply. I'm going to use an x here. Actually, I'll use a dot because we're going to have a variable coming up. So 0.75 times what number? Well, that's my key that here's what you're trying to find. So this is my variable. Pick a number. We were using, or pick a letter. We're going to use n since it's what number. So 0.75 times n is equals. Okay? That 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 equals 4. That is means equals and then 12. So I just went through here, did everything in the same order it's written, and now I have an algebraic equation. 0.75 times n equals 12. Now let's just solve this equation. Here's my variable. It is being multiplied by 0.75. So to solve this problem, if you want to do your backbone or your lines down, we want to divide both sides by 0.75 because multiplying and then dividing by 0.75 cancel each other out. So on this side we're left with our n. Then figuring out what 12 divided by 0.75 is, it gives me 16. So if we go back and look, 75% of 16 is 12. Yeah, that would make sense. About three-fourths of 16 would be 12. All right? Let's try this one. So again, we're just going to go straight through, write an equation. This one's in a little different order. Whoops. So looking here, 51 is... 170% would be 1.7, 1.70, however you want to write that, of means multiply, what number? So put in your variable. Here's my variable. It is being multiplied by 1.7. I need to divide both sides by 1.7. So that would be... 51 divided by 1.7, we get 30. So the number is 30. Okay, 51 is 170% of what number? That, yeah, that's about almost 200% of it, almost double. Okay? Let's try this one. So if you're feeling comfortable, you can go ahead and work these on your own and then check yourself. If you're still having problems, work them out with me until you feel comfortable. Then try to do them on your own and check it. All right, so 30%, we're going to do 0.3 of is times 200. Okay, 30% of 200 is what number? This is easy to find your variable. All you have to do is multiply these numbers together. So I want 0.3 times 200. That gives me 60. So n is equal to 60. And yeah, if I'm looking for 30% of 200, it's going to be a little bit of that. Okay. Let's look at our next one. So what, here it doesn't say what number, it's just what, this is still our variable, is 210%, so I'm going to use 2 point, whoops, 2.1 times 44. 210% of 44. Again, all I have to do is multiply those. 
So if I take 2.1 times 44, I get 92.4. Leave the decimal. Okay? So 92.4 is 210% of 44. All right, so now we're trying to find percents. These have an extra little hitch in there. So let's go through and write this out as our equation. So 64 is what percent, so I'm going to put a P there to remind me it's a percent of 80. 64 is what percent of 80? So now to solve this equation, my variable is being multiplied by 80, so I need to divide both sides by 80. 64 divided by 80 gives me 0.8 would equal P. Now, think back to when we were doing these before. When we were given the percent and we were writing the algebraic expression, or the equation, we changed that percent to a decimal. So this is the decimal, I want to write it as a percent. So 0.8 would be equal to what percent? Well, that would be 80%. Okay, move the decimal two places to the right. So when you're finding the percent, you've got to remember to do that. If it's asking what percent, I want it written as a percent. Okay? Last problem. Let's try this one with the percent. Okay, so what percent of 24 is 72? So solving this equation, I'm going to divide both sides by 24, and I get that P would equal 72 divided by 24, we get 3. Okay, remember, we want the percent, not the decimal. This is kind of tricky because it's a whole number. We have to change 3 into a percent, move the decimal two places to the right. It is 300% because if we're looking, we're getting bigger. So it should be greater than 100. 